how has the recovery of New Orleans since Hurricane Katrina like, um, affected you guys developing as a band? In, in part, in part, it kind of, it, it by, by force, by necessity, it, we played more and we kind of became more of a full-time band because of it, which is, you know, bittersweet, but it is what it is. And, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, the recovery of the city is, is, you know, things that don't, things are doing what they do. There's a certain aspect of the city that will never be the same. And it's probably, I guess, what, a couple hundred thousand people that left and will ne never be back there. But um, as far as being a resident there, but I mean, as far as this band, and the, it kind of helped catapult us into what we're becoming now, you know? Yeah. It put it shined a light on the city, you know, and New Orleans music, and all the, all of us, and all of our peers, and Tremont Shorty, and the Rebirth Brass Band, Irma Thomas, everybody who'd done anything out of New Orleans, you know, was pre appreciated a little more. Like, wow, we almost about to lose the, one of the greatest cities in the world. So it shined a light on what we were doing. So yeah, we appreciate that that fact of it. I'd like to add to that. It also, I think about us coming, becoming a band because some of us was homeless, some of them were homeless, and we, all we could do was travel and play music because we had nowhere to go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, we were stuck in Brazil, we wound up in Hawaii, and then where from there? We couldn't go to New Orleans. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't the worst place in the world to be at the time, it was Brazil and Hawaii, but you know, that was pretty, pretty bittersweet. Like oh, we said. in yeah. Texas. Yeah. <laughs> the way music has evolved, I mean, the hip hop music, everything that was sampled, was based on some funk, all of the cool stuff, and then you got you got elements of that in the electronic music and everything. You got bits of funk, so it's alive and well, and we keeping it real alive. This might be a little heavier than others. Yeah, we yeah we yeah you know yeah, you know we funkier than we funkier than most you know. Yeah, I mean he said it. Yeah, it's always been there, and I am like I'm a funketeer. I'm adamant about funk. Like you know, it's in my mind that I will. Single-handedly, no, we will, you know, change some things and, you know, undo some wrongs that have been done to the genre of funk music. I mean, let's really talk about it seriously. Like, there's no funk station on XM Radio, you know what I mean? There's no funk category in the Grammys. You can't even, like, classify your song as funk. Like, when you register it, like, you know, it's like, are we... What's happening? Like, funk music is is important. It's relevant. And like he said, so many other types of music and genres came out of it and were influenced by it. So for people to just ignore it is kind of a slap in the face. 